kind of spectacular work if you look at it from an artistic perspective. Um, what are some of the connections that you make between commerce and art? And you know, what are what do you have to do that you might not want to do? And what are some of the advantages of working for commercial firms? Um, it, it, you need to get your, your work out there. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, putting it on the internet um, and, and showing it is, is very, very important. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So we, we're seeing some of the stuff that you've done now. You're doing a lot of the, the design, um, and then other people are doing the animation. Right, right. exactly. What, what are some of the memories that you have of working there for that company? Oh, it, it was a great experience because, you know, working with producers mm -hmm. firsthand, them sitting behind you and, and, and telling you what their vision is. Right. And sometimes I would come up with color schemes or different ideas that, you know, maybe 10 ideas that then the producers would look at mm -hmm. and, and some would get used, some, some wouldn't. <laughs> but it was a great, great experience. I learned a lot, a lot of things there. Were you doing your own art um, in addition to this at the same time? Or? Always, yeah. 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 I always, um, you know, I have to keep my hand in my, in my fine artwork. It's, it's very important to How, how did you that. find that working for broadcast graphics affected your own work? Oh, um, yeah. It, it, you know, I, I was doing more fine art, loose, abstract mm -hmm. type work. Mm -hmm. And that kind of seg segued me into, I think, web design, mm -hmm. really, because, you know, I was thinking of a more commercial way of, mm -hmm. of uh, helping a client, say, mm -hmm. sell their products mm -hmm. or, or promote their business via a website. Mm -hmm. now, that's what you teach at, at um, Cal State Channel Islands right yes, now. Yes, yes, um, teach web design. And that is a, you know, a, a, something that a lot of students would be really interested in. What's, what do you sort of find the, the, the typical student who comes in taking your classes? Is uh, there one? Yeah, well, they, they come in with, um, you know, an introduct they probably have taken an introductory mm -hmm. class in computer graphics, Photoshop, Illustrator. Um, but, you know, you have to, to know HTML, XHTML, mm -hmm. and now CSS, and, and kind of combining the technical side, because mm -hmm. there's a technical side Absolutely. to it, yeah, right. with the fine art side, because they're, they're very, most of them very, you know, have their ideas, creative ideas, mm -hmm. and it's, it's kind of marrying those two mm -hmm. sides together to create a, a marketable website mm -hmm. that will you know, that a client will be pleased with. And that's a difficult balance, too, to be yeah. working with the, the tiniest little code and having a, a big, broad idea that, mm -hmm. you know, has a vision. Well, you have, are someone who's done that, so we can take a look at some of your websites, <laughs> sure, sure. and you can kind of talk us through this. Sure. So we're talking to new media artist right. Liz King, and um, <laughs> talk us uh, through what we see as sure. we come along here. This is your own yeah, website. Yeah, this is my own website that's kind of a portfolio and has um, some of my website work on it. Now this is a drawing that you've done. Here we go. Yeah. This, um, let's see if you... If we can get a bigger... Yeah, they click on the image there. Yeah. Now this there is a we website um, I created for Nick Harcourt, who's the music director of KCRW currently. And um, here's a little flash animation, mm -hmm. which I also teach at the university. Um, Flash animation is very up and coming. And there's a lot of my students that are getting really good jobs um, doing flash animation, which is animation for the web. So this is a little intro um, and uh, his website and, you know, has information about him. Now, if we can go back to him for just one second, the, 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 the presentation you're trying to get, this is who he is, this right. is his website, right? Mm -hmm. So what, what, would you, what did you find out about him that you wanted to convey on the website itself? Yeah, he's, he's known for, you know, uh, very edgy music that mm -hmm. he has on uh, Morning Becomes Eclectic. And, and he also, um, at the time I did the site, um, this is a few years ago now, um, it was had a, uh, a new book that he just wrote, okay. and so to promote that also, so there's the marketing side again. Um, yeah, there's his book there. And, um, and the relationships that he has with musicians that come in. And, mm -hmm. uh, when you're, uh, the, the color scheme here, what, what makes you decide on a particular color scheme? Yeah, I, I talked to him about it, and also um, then I present, just like I did when I was at Novacom, present different color mm -hmm. schemes to him and mm -hmm. see which ones he responds to. Okay. Yeah. Let's take a look at the next uh, website here. Now, what is this? Yeah, this is a, this is a company that um, sells uh, 
these planters. Um, so it's more of a commercial site. She has a um, a business that she sells uh, kind of art craft boxes, and she does quite well with that. So there's a little flash animation on that side too. It's called Bella Campagna. I wonder if we can click on that and see the flash. Yeah, I think that it kind of scrolls to the right if you scrolls put the... your cursor on the image, I think. We are doing this kind of <laughs> <laughs> second hand here. Uh-oh, yeah, not found. <laughs> Yeah, I'll take a look. Yeah, here's another commercial okay. side just for um, for a rug company, kind of way back. Now again, I, you know, I'm I'm interested in the, it's a, a very collaborative process. Obviously, when you're someone hires you to do yes. a web design, you're talking to them about um, what they want, and they're trying to give you a sense of you know this is what I'd like to convey. But mm -hmm. it's uh, obviously you have to bring your own input and insight oh, uh, and yeah. expanding. They don't always know what it is. That and sometimes that's why the client will pick you because right. they they know your work and it kind of meshes with them. Mm -hmm. But so, you know, some clients are more web savvy mm -hmm. than others, and right. so you have to sometimes um, you know teach them mm -hmm. or, or you know show them other websites in their same field you know mm -hmm. same field so that right. they know what their competition is and they know how they want to right, present right. themselves so well as you think back over your career with web design without mentioning any names do you have any stories of um, things that just went wrong where <laughs> <laughs> people were trying to get something that you were incapable of getting for well, whatever reasons yeah well, this is one uh, thing i always tell my students too it's it's when you have a client it's to get the the content from them mm -hmm. get the images get mm -hmm. the you know uh, all the, all the information mm -hmm. they want to impart on the web is sometimes um, hard to do, right. <laughs> and it's a little bit trying. But um, they expect you to read their minds a little bit. <laughs> sometimes, yeah. 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 <laughs> but um, yeah, that's probably the the hardest thing, and and I convey that to the students. And and I've had students now that have graduated, and now they're they're making a living uh -huh. being web designers, and and they've come back and they said, "You were right about that." <laughs> <laughs> well, what are some of, as your students go out into the to the world and, and look for jobs? What mm -hmm. are some of the challenges that they face right now? I mean, there are a lot more people who know how to do this than in the past. True, true. Um, like I have a, a few students that are doing quite well. They're at Disney Interactive, mm -hmm. and they are working in Flash, which is um, the animation for the web. And there's a, a scripting language that's very uh, complex with that called ActionScript 3. And they're coming across that as a challenge. Mm -hmm. It's every time a software package updates, mm -hmm. it's it's something to learn. Mm -hmm. You know, they have to, to learn a whole new thing. So um, those are some of the challenges that they come across. And Let's take a look at some more work that you've mm -hmm. done off, off your website, which is uh, Liz King. Dot TV. TV. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can click on this one and get inside it. What yeah, is this, this? this is a website for um, uh, for De Camera Society. They do concerts in different locations um, uh, throughout LA, like uh, museums or Union Station. As you talk to them, what what were they trying to convey? Um, they want to um, just really showcase their musicians. They have very high caliber musicians mm -hmm. that um, that play at the venues and um, also the locations where they do their events are quite unique. Do you have any audio clips on the site or no? No, not on this one, no. So what are some of the things that right now that um, you're at the cutting edge of this people uh, like me who just surf the web, what are, what are we going to start seeing? You, you just mentioned a, a, a a new script. Yeah. Um, what, what's on the When horizon? you see anything on a website that moves, mm -hmm. that animates, it's most likely done with Flash. Mm -hmm. And that is.